If you want to see how to cut shapes or even words exactly in a particular spot from your artwork, whether it's you know this spot, this spot, whatever you want, if you want to see how to do that, watch this video and I'll show you this quick tutorial in Cricut Design Space. In this video, I want to show you how to cut an image if you already have a print on it. So let's say you've done either artwork or you have a pre-printed image of some, some sorts and you would like to cut out with the Cricut particular spots on it. So if you were just to look at it and know that this piece of paper is six by nine and then, you know, kind of here and here, then you may not match it up exactly. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. First, what you need to do is take a photo of this, of the paper that you have, that you wanna use in the Cricut Design Space. Once you take a picture of it, then we need to upload it. I'll switch over to the Cricut Design Space and then show you in there what needs to be done so you position exactly where you wanna cut this. When you're trying to cut shapes in a particular spot from either an artwork or even just a piece of paper if you wanted to cut out a name for example what you need really are three things the piece of paper that you're trying to cut from so for that i've taken a picture of the artwork that i did and it's this so i will insert that here so this is the first thing that you will need and i will zoom out a little bit because it's rather large and I do want this to be the size of the actual piece of paper and as I measured it and what we need to do is make sure that this is open so that it actually changes with the size that I'm saying it. It's 9 by 6. So there is the piece of paper. Now I will zoom in a little bit. So this is the first thing that you need. The next thing is just a rectangle that is that same size. So I will add a square that I unlock and then make it the same size. So it's nine by six. So these two are the same size. I will change this just to a different color just so I can see it. And then you need what you're trying to cut out, whether it's an, a word, whether it's circles, whatever it is, you need those shapes. So what I'll do is I will take the images. In this case, let's say you want to do circles and here's the circle. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So there's the circle and you can say, okay, well, I want this circle to be cut out from right at this spot right here. So right here is a good spot for the circle. I will put this right here and that's what I want to cut that out. And let me make those red so you can see them a little better when I'm cutting them out. You can take that and duplicate it if you're doing a bunch of different circles and just move them to exactly where you want these to be cut. And this I'm just using the artwork so I know exactly where I'm cutting these. Ultimately, you will not do anything with the artwork. It's just a mere guide so I can tell the machine exactly where I'm cutting them. Let's say, you know, just these, for example, I don't need to do too many of these because it's the same concept for all of them. And once you have the shapes, let's say, you know, you don't want to do shapes, it's a word that you want to, to cut out of this. So if you want to do a text, you add text, and let's say the text you want to add is fun. At this point, I will take this and put it underneath and match it up. And then this I delete because I don't want it to do that. I just want these to be right on top of each other. And I will attach these. If you don't, this red will shift off so it's not gonna line up properly. So I select those and attach. And then once you click make it, now it will also cut this on the outside part of it, but it should be the same dimensions as your artwork. Now if you look at this, it did cut out the same spots that I had this marked as. 
so it was right on this area you know that's what I wanted this to be cut so you can see that piece of white underneath so it cut that right there and then the circles exactly where I had them marked and that's where that cut so that's how you can control exactly where you want this cut it did shift a little bit when I was cutting so the circle cut out there but everything else cut exactly where I had it on my mat in Cricut Design Space I hope this Cricut tutorial was helpful in trying to line up exactly where you want text or shapes cut out of your artwork or really any kind of project. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.